Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys a quick tip that you can use to drastically speed up your development process in Unity by decreasing the amount of time it takes to enter play mode. So it's actually just one setting you really need to toggle on. We'll go up to Edit, Project Settings, Editor, scroll down here to the bottom, and you'll see something called Enter Play Mode Options Experimental. So if you toggle this on, then Reload Domain and Reload Scene are going to be disabled by default. And these two things add drastically to the amount of time it takes for your game to load. So if we have that checked and we hit the X button and now we go in to hit play button, uh, you'll see that the game loads almost instantaneously for this simple pixel art game. But if I go back and I re-disable that, so now reload scene and reload domain are going to be active, it'll take a few seconds for the game to load. So for your development process, toggling those off is going to be a really big deal just in the speed that you can test your changes. So if we check the documentation on these features, we can see that the domain reloading and scene reloading are important for ensuring that the project is going to perform basically the same way that it would in an actual build of the game when you export it for other people to actually play your game. So on the domain reloading page, we can see that the domain reloading resets the scripting state. It resets all static fields and registered handlers. I believe that's talking about event handlers there. So basically resetting the state to as if you had opened the executable for the game. And then on scene reloading, every time you enter play mode with scene reloading enabled, which is by default, it destroys all the scene objects and then reloads those from the disk. But if you have scene reloading disabled, then Unity is only going to reset things that have changed in the scene from the default. So if something was there, a game object that just got created and hasn't changed at all, then it's not going to be reloaded from the disk. And then having that disabled is going to save you some time. So in a nutshell, unless you need to verify that the game inside your editor is going to work exactly the same as the final build, that uh, gets exported to the game, then it's a good idea to actually turn those off so that you don't have to wait three, four seconds here to enter the game every time you need to test a change, but rather just go to edit project settings down on the editor tab and just tick on enter play mode options experimental. I find that most of the added time actually comes from reload domain. So if you want, you can just leave reload scene enabled and that'll basically give you about the same results. So you can see as long as reload domain is disabled, entering play mode is almost instantaneous and that is a really big deal when you're working on your game. So I hope this tip helps you guys out there speeding up your development process. Just remember that when you disable domain reloading that this stuff isn't going to be reset every single time that you hit play. But for testing most things like just making sure your character animations work or making sure that the enemy does the thing that it's supposed to, then just having the ability to enter the play mode really fast like this is a huge help. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.